Hey guys, welcome to an unboxing video. Good friend of my father's, the uh, gentleman's uh, wife, her father has passed, and uh, this radio belonged to him. And of course, you can imagine the sentimental value attached to it. So, um, my dad was speaking to them, um, and of course, he knew that as a hobby, I uh, I do radio repair. So, um, let's uh, let's take a look at it. Um, according to my dad, it's not in good shape, and it's going to need a lot of TLC. And but, uh, we'll see. We can piece this thing back together and make it operational again. I think it's nothing more than a uh, an All American Five, um, most likely a Bake Light. So uh, this is probably not showing up on video well. So. Well, that's what we've got, uh, parts and pieces to a Bakelite uh, case. Here's the, uh, it's like the spacers themselves for the chassis, the two screws, and the knobs. So, um, let's see if we've got the missing pieces we need to uh, hopefully be able to uh, get this thing back together, make it look presentable. Get this over here out of the way. Okay, here's a another section of the radio. I think what they said happened to it. It's uh, maybe on a desk or something, and it got knocked off years and years ago. So you can see here the condition it's in. Um, there's the uh, part of the top. Hopefully a lot of these small uh, pieces here are still uh, somewhere here. Uh, well, I'll go through these and lay them out on the bench and uh, we'll take a look at it. it looks like I've got the uh, Additional uh, bake light parts and maybe the uh, the tuning dial scale here. And yeah, let me get this out right here, and I'm going to remove this box, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, here's the uh, chassis itself. Here we have it. That doesn't look too bad. I've seen worse. A little bit of rust here on the uh, on the chassis that we'll have to deal with. So kind of odd if it's been inside. It looks like it's had a lot of wa uh, water and moisture exposure as well. So that seems kind of odd. But uh, you can look at the tubes there. Probably not showing up on camera very well, but uh, appears to be just an All-American 5 uh, design. Looks like it's never uh, been worked on underneath. Got the original uh, wax caps. Uh, original electrolytic capacitor. So should be a straightforward repair. You know, again, unless we've got problems with the output transformer or uh, some of the coils. Anyway, I think what's more problematic 
in my opinion. Let me get this over here out of the way. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay, more parts and pieces here of the uh, radio. There's the dial skill. Radiola. And just a lot of more parts and pieces here. So it looks like I've got that corner piece, another part of the corner piece, and lots of little pieces here. And when I mean lots, I mean lots of little corner pieces. So, um, hey, it should make for some fun. So, um, I want to go ahead and try to get this thing recap this weekend. Uh, just um, see if we can get the radio playing before I make any attempt at all to do anything with the uh, cabinet or find another cabinet possibly on another set. I could pick up real cheap and then just repurpose the uh, chassis in it. So um, let me get these parts and pieces into another uh, plastic baggie and uh, just kind of get them out of the way. Yeah, it's going to be fun, uh, this one. <laughs> so um, I've still got a few parts and pieces here to kind of figure out where they go, but uh, if I move this, I'll, it'll probably fall apart. So again, this whole section here is uh, broke loose, as you can see right in this area. This section here, one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four, another piece here, five, big chunk out here. So um, still got some leftover pieces here. So um, probably no way to put this thing back together without being completely noticeable. So um, I'll probably uh, use some epoxy. Um, yeah, and there's a piece chipped out right here as well. Try to fill in uh, these sections with some epoxy, sand it down, and then uh, the only way to really salvage this case, in my opinion, unless somebody sees the video and has some alternate uh, solutions, would be to uh, paint the uh, the Bakelite and see if I could go back. You know, I'll clean this up. It looks like it's more of a... Uh, well, so kind of a brownish purple, maybe more of a maroon color. And again, I might be able to find a, a parts radio or something online that's got a decent uh, cabinet I could pick up as well. But again, we'll start with the electronic side and then uh, work on this last, just to make sure I can make this radio play again. And then uh, we'll worry about this uh, at a later time. So uh, should be uh, should be fun, but uh, worth the effort. Um, again, I think the sentimental value to the family and uh, doing this as a favor for them uh, will be uh, rewarding for sure. So um, hey, folks, uh, thanks for watching uh, this quick video. Again, uh, we'll get started on the uh, radio repair. And for those uh, that have been following the uh, Xena 5S29, um, I ordered uh, my replacement power resistors for the uh, the Candom uh, resistor from uh, Mauser. They were shipped and uh, delivered, but not delivered to me. So uh, anyway, I've got the uh, the postal service trying to figure out where the package went because uh, uh, they were not in my uh, mailbox. So um, we'll get back on it whenever I get those parts and pieces and uh, try to get that wrapped up. So uh, thanks again for uh, watching and subscribing to my channel.